Okay. Oh yeah. I can hear it now. The collective groan. What is he gonna do with that? That's right, toilet paper roll. We all look at him and we all think, damn. Something that could be done with that, but there just there just ain't nothing that could be done with that. When you look at it like that, it kinda kinda comes out. So you know what we gotta do next? Of course you could do something like this. A little Christmas ornament reindeer. But that's not why we're here, right? Well, well, I mean, come on now. Y'all knew I was going to spray paint it, right? Basic black. And then we cut it down. Uh, sizes, whatever you prefer. Looks like a guy walking with his pants down. That's crazy. And afterwards we apply uh, the same uh, stippling that we applied before. Just uh, an easy one. Easter egg it up. All right, we're gonna take a piece of this cheap bubicular foam. Say that because it's got the bubbles, and uh, just take another piece of cardboard and kind of drive it in. Now give us a, a rough mark. Doesn't have to be perfect. Alright, you're going to cut your piece uh, roughly the same width, and it, it doesn't have to be perfect here. And uh, take this piece, I had this glued already, I forgot to include you guys on every step here I made, so I had to pull this out after it was glued in. So, anyway, you push that in, oh, and I roughly beveled this around here, just a rough bevel, doesn't have to be perfect, but just enough to make it, you know, no, no peeking. Just enough to make it uh, you don't know, want it to look roughly like that. See the glue in there on the edges. And here comes the worst part of the whole thing. You gotta wait till it's dry. Okay, here we have it all uh, it's glued, glue's dry. And I'm just taking a mixture of this uh, black here and this gray here and just mix it together real good. Not real good, but you know. And right now you're gonna have to lay it on thick. If you know what I mean. I mean, if you know what I mean. Alright, we've put some uh, spackle on there, trying to just uh, round it off a little bit. And we're going to base it on a little base. Now you could probably fill this in with uh, another piece of foam and put some weight in there. But I like having, on this skinny of a piece, I like having um, a piece of masonite. And I've seen you guys uh, cut your masonite uh, before. And every time I see it, I see people doing this, you know, and, and cutting their masonite, and it, that looks, you know, I guess you could just cut it and do that type of thing, but 
I prefer to use something like this. It's just a pair of tin shears. I have no idea how much it costs. I've had it like eight years or so. But you can just, I mean, plow right through a piece of masonite. You know, away you go and then uh, just take my bases and sand block it down so it's nice and smooth. But anyway, whoop, anyway, there's that part. All right, we're gonna uh, go ahead and put a little, I like doing the glue on top first. Action. Well, yeah, you knew I wasn't going go to go through this whole video without any spackle. Something like that. And just stick this on there. These were a little crooked, so you might want to stick it on there. relatively level. Okay. Lift back on. Time to have something else. And then we're going to put a little more glue on top of the I'm going to hit it up a little uh, kitty litter action. I knew I should have used clean kitty litter. The glue and the spackle should hold it, but sometimes it doesn't. Okay, and you know, you know what happens now? We gotta let it dry. Okay, I've gone ahead and uh, put a little coat on it. Give it a gray effect, and we use one of them cooking show tricks. This is one that I, another one I'm done because I'm doing a pair of them. Uh, it's based and it's it's about finished. Um, eh, I throw it down once, test it. But uh, you know, you can put anything you want up here: a banner, a flag, uh, a floodlight. You know, for night fighting, something like that. But uh, it's just a good way to make a little concrete uh, post in the ground to put uh, put your whatever, like in a parking garage or something like that. But there you go.